Um, Vinoba and Gandhi were very much about taking the Gita as a, um, uh, a primary source for teaching. And in there, there's a, a huge emphasis on your actions without attachment. And if you're going to act, Vinobhaji would say, people said, oh, the Gita tells you, you know, that you should do this or this, but it doesn't tell you what you should or shouldn't do. It gives this advice, but doesn't tell you. And he says, actually, it does. If you're doing actions without attachment, you're not going to lie, you're not going to steal, and you're not going to kill. Because all of those actions are related to an attachment to the results of your actions. And that idea of doing your duty, doing your dharma, and not being attached to the end product is a really important principle that I think all of the sisters would talk about so that what they would, they would critique any violence that's grounded in religion or actually any violence at all to say that's a problem. Because right there, you're, if you're stealing from me, if I'm stealing from you, that means I'm attached to what you have and I don't have it and I want it. And they would critique that as not being a good action. Personally, I would say I see religion as, as human attempts to understand the world, to, uh, human attempts to connect with that transcendent realm, and it's an incredibly powerful force that be, can be used for good or bad. And so I would critique it when it's being used um, negatively. I think at the heart of Christianity, at the heart of Judaism, at the heart of Hinduism, at the heart of Islam, there isn't this idea of violence is okay. However, having said that, we also can't say these traditions don't participate in these things because the Crusades, they were Christian. You know, I mean, these elements are there. But again, those, it's a force that can be used either way, and we have that choice of how are we going to use this power that comes wrapped up in this stuff we call religion.